Governor Ron DeSantis' stance resonates with concerns about upholding traditional societal norms. By opposing the integration of men into women's spaces and boys into girls' sports. This stance underscores a commitment to preserving the safety and well being of women and girls. Uh, we are working with the Attorney General. Uh, we have filed a lawsuit to fight back against what Biden's trying to do with Title IX to take away the second. And the bottom line is this uh, injecting men into women's bathrooms and locker rooms is not good for women. Uh, injecting boys into girls' sports is not good for, for girls. And so this is bad policy. Uh, but it's also not constitutional. That is not what the law says. Uh, they are twisting the law to try to impose an ideological agenda on the rest of the country. And I've said very clearly in Florida, uh, we do not consent to that and we will not comply with it and we will fight back against it. So you can take that to the bank. The position advocated by Governor Ron DeSantis underscores the importance of preserving fundamental societal values and recognizing gender distinctions. It emphasizes the significance of safeguarding individual liberties against governmental mandates. Furthermore, it aligns with the assertion of state sovereignty and resistance against what is perceived as overreach by federal policies. Upholding individual freedoms and the rights of states remains paramount. This perspective prompts inquiries into legal interpretation and the preservation of constitutional rights. Supporting Governor Ron DeSantis' argument entails acknowledging the potential overreach and misinterpretation of federal policies regarding gender identity and Title IX. It emphasizes the importance of adherence to constitutional principles and established legal precedents.